Yo, did you know that the viral children's show Bluey has a banned episode in the United States? The premise of the episode being that the dad of the family pretends to be pregnant for the day, even is going as far as to have a mock birth, and it's goddamn hilarious. Hello everyone, I'm Finn, welcome back to Finn Films. Join me today as we discuss banned children's media. So while the banned episode of Bluey might be one of the most like recent high profile examples of a children's media program being actually banned or censored in a country, it's by no means the first. I mean, hell, this isn't even the first time that Bluey itself has been censored for a wider audience. While the episode Dad Baby might be like the only full episode that's actually banned in the United States, Bluey's had to censor its episodes at least 19 times over the course of 154 episodes for its US adaptation. Most of these censored moments are relatively like pretty harmless, like the removing of scenes sowing vomit, like in the episode Taxi, or removing a scene where a horse poops, like in the episode to market or the episode past the parcel other censored moments are actually like genuinely hilarious like in the episode perfect when bluey's dad is having a side conversation with a character named fido about being neutered or how bluey had to remove the word groin from the episode born yesterday when bluey's dad bandit is hit in the nuts and shouts Oh, me groin! We have to remember that Disney has the rights to stream Bluey in the United States, and obviously our standards for acceptable humor for children differ greatly. Disney obviously wanting to limit the amount of, like, well, we'll say potty humor as much as possible for the American audience. Again, if you're an American, then, like, none of this should really come as a surprise. I mean, we've been censoring, like, cartoons or kids' shows, for really as long as I can remember, ever since I was a child in the 90s. And I mean, I can still remember the first time that I watched the Japanese subbed version of Dragon Ball Z, the original version, and saw that the blood was actually supposed to be red, not the poop colored brown that we had on Toonami. It's kind of funny, like these seemingly arbitrary reasons that some shows get censored while others don't. I, I mean, do you guys remember Rin and Stimpy as a show? Like, this show was heavily censored for its Nickelodeon airing, and even still, the many wild, gross, and insane scenes that actually made it onto our screens is astounding. To me, one of the funniest, like, censored scenes from Ren and Stimpy came from the episode Powdered Toast Man, where the aforementioned Powdered Toast Man burns the United States Constitution and the Bill of Rights. This scene was later trimmed down tremendously due to parents calling in and complaining about the anti-American message it could send their kids. My freedom, damn it! Of course, not all of the censored that's done for like children's media for kids shows for cartoons is as stupid as the ones that we've listed so far oftentimes there are real like legitimate reasons why a children's show should be censored or why an episode should be outright banned pokemon has two real glaring examples of this the first one being the retcon of the design around the pokemon Jinx. Yeah, it kind of feels like blackface, doesn't it? And the Pokemon company responded pretty fast, changing the color of the skin of Jinx palette to purple as opposed to black. Or perhaps more infamously, the Pokemon episode titled Dino Sinchi Porygon, or translated to English as Computer Warrior Porygon. This might be the most infamous episode of Pokemon all time ever, as it was only broadcast once ever, and that was in Japan on December 16th, 1997. Basically, the plot of the episode is this, that Ash and his friends find that something is wrong with the Pokemon ball transmitting device, so in order to fix it, they somehow decide they're gonna go inside the machine, discovering that it is a Porygon causing all of this mayhem. Now, there was nothing wrong with like the plot the substance of the plot of the episode that ended up getting it taken off air forever no the problem was with the absolutely insane flashing lights and visual effects that ended up giving over 600 japanese children epileptic seizures this was such a big stain on the pokemon company at the time that the pokemon anime went on a four month hiatus Obviously, this didn't really impact the Pokemon company much in the long term, as they are still by far 
probably the most profitable franchise to ever exist in history. And the ultimate banning of this episode actually did end up creating lasting change to television standards across the world in order to prevent something like this from ever happening again in the future. So at least we learn from our mistakes. Well, this time. Really some of like the easiest censorship to see for like animated content specifically comes from the copious amount of like English dubs of Japanese anime. Most of the time these censorship changes come in the form of like limiting super violent scenes or scenes containing some kind of like sexual humor or sexual references. You have your Dragon Ball and I'll let you have a little peek. What do I care about seeing your dirty old fanny? Yeah, uh, that scene definitely didn't make the original English dub. And you remember all those magazines that Master Roshi was reading? Yeah, those were actually dirty mags. I know, shocker, right? I mean, the amount of Master Roshi scenes that were cut from the American Funimation dub of Dragon Ball is hilarious, but actually completely understandable, as I doubt the folks over at Funimation wanted to keep all of the scenes containing the dirty old man. Just give me a little kiss, baby! <laughs> right here! Right on the kisser! I mean, even such beloved shows such as Adventure Time, one of the best American cartoons of all time, wasn't spared from the censoring. But in kind of a funny twist of events, it was actually other countries that seemed to have a real problem with everyone's favorite hero boy and stretchy dog, with a total of seven episodes being outright banned in Australia, of all places. With a country like Kenya outright banning Adventure Time altogether as a whole, their reasoning being, and I quote, promoting homosexuality. Huh? Yeah, rip Marceline and Princess Bubblegum, am I right? Basically, what we've learned is that every single country has kind of their own parental guideline rating system. You know, G, PG, PG-13, you get the idea. Each country using their own arbitrary criteria to put a show into one of these categories. So when an Australian show like Bluey, for example, is exported around the world, it will need to be changed in order to fit the standards of the parental guidelines for the country that is now showing this show. This leads to episodes like Dad Baby getting outright banned in the United States, as well as a plethora of other episodes having a number of censored changes. And when I say banned, I really mean like banned. It is basically impossible to find this full episode of Dad Baby online in the United States without using a VPN. Which kind of leads us nicely to the sponsor of today's episode. What? What, what was that? What do, you, what do you mean we don't have a sponsor for today's episode? Karen. You told me that they were interested in sponsoring this video. What happened? Brand risk? Me? Karen, that was one time. Come on, man. Guess the camera is still on. What? Oh, shit. Today's video is sponsored by you all. Yes, you, the viewer, you right now watching this video on your smartphone. You guys basically make this channel and all of these videos possible by engaging with the channel, whether by subscribing, liking the video, or leaving a comment down below. Your engagement on these videos helps to put them into the algorithm, which then helps me buy the copious amounts of cat food I need to feed my seven adorable food babies. But for that, I thank you. So if you did enjoy the video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Again, guys, thank you so much for continuing to support me and thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, then why don't you check out one of our many other videos on screen now. As always, guys, I hope to see you in the next one. Drink your water, hug your mother. Until next time, as always, peace, love, adu.